Mr. Speaker, the green back backlog plaguing Western farmers is costing them billions of dollars. On the weekend, former Conservative Minister Chuck Strahl said he warned rail companies years ago that their excuses weren't fooling anyone. He told them, shape up, stop abusing their duopoly, or face regulation. But here we are again. Farmers are suffering while the rail companies offer up the same old excuses. So what is this minister going to do? Hopefully not have another, minute, another meeting. Will the minister now commit to this House that he will take action so that the rail companies will move that grain to port and get our farmers paid? The Honourable Minister of Agriculture. Well, Mr. Speaker, we're working on exactly that. We're exploring all options. Everything that could be done will be done in a timely way. But let me quote Dennis Thiessen, farmer and uh, Canadian Grain Growers Director. We want to thank the Federal Agriculture Minister for continuing to recognize the rail capacity needs of grain farmers and the urgency of the current situation. I couldn't have said it better myself, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Edmonton Strathcona. Well, Mr. Speaker, perhaps the Minister could listen to the Alberta grain growers instead of making the same old tired excuses. Canadian grains are simply not getting to market. As the weeks go by, the grain prices plummet and our farmers face greater losses. The fact is, I know that's hard for them to take, the fact is rail companies have had ample opportunity to provide fair rail service to farmers. It's clear they won't change without government intervention. Farmers have been clear on their demand for enforceable performance standards, accountability and penalties. Why the delay in the regulations? The Honourable Minister of Agriculture. Of course, Mr. Speaker, this is a government take these types of situations very seriously. These challenges create opportunities to get the job done, but done in the right way. So those consultations continue on with everyone involved in the grain logistics situation in Western Canada, predominantly, Mr. Speaker. And at the right time, the right place, those answers will be unveiled. The 